हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न टेक्निक टू सॉल्व नॉन एग्जैक्ट डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन इन पर्टिकुलरली वी आर गोइंग टू फोकस ऑन रेंडर्ड एग्जैक्ट डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो वी लर्न टेक्निक टू सॉल्व एग्जैक्ट डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन लिंक ऑफ दैट वीडियो इज गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सो लेट एस फोकस ऑन this rendered exact differential equations first of all we will understand what is mean by something is rendered when we say something is rendered it means that can be transformed or reduced to something else now let us see what is mean by rendered exact differential equation if the differential equation of the type m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 is not exact but can be reduced or transformed to a exact differential equation by multiplying it by some factor then such a differential equation is called as rendered exact differential equation for example consider this non exact differential equation y minus 2x cube dx minus x into 1 minus xy dy is equal to 0 you can cross check this by verifying daba m by daba y is not equal to daba n by daba x now if we multiply this differential equation with a factor 1 by x square then this differential equation is going to transform into a exact differential equation once again you can cross check the same necessary condition for a differential equation to be exact note that such a factor which transform the non exact differential equation into exact differential equation is called as integrating factor i repeat a factor which transforms a non exact differential equation into exact differential equation is called as an integrating factor now let us talk about how to find solution to rendered exact differential equation in step 1 we have to see whether the equation m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 is exact or not if it is not exact then we first find the corresponding integrating factor which will transform this differential equation into exact differential equation once we get that integrating factor we will multiply this differential equation by that integrating factor then automatically this differential equation will get transform into exact differential equation now we will have new m and n functions of x and y once we find these new m and n functions we are through we just have to put these functions into the solution for exact differential equation formula which is integration of m dx treating y constant plus integration of terms in n free from x into dy is equal to c using this formula we can solve any exact differential equation of the type m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 at this point i have to mention that depending on the nature of differential equations of the type m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 there are four rules to find out integrating factor out of these four rules we are going to learn only first rule and examples on it in this video remaining rules and their examples you can find in my upcoming videos so let us see first rule for finding integrating factor it says that if a differential equation of the type m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 is not exact and if daba m by daba y minus daba n by daba x whole divided by n is a function of x alone say f of x then corresponding integrating factor is given by e raised to integration of f of x dx i repeat if the differential equation m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 is not exact and daba m by daba y minus daba n by daba x upon n is a function of x alone say f of x then corresponding integrating factor is obtained by the formula e raised to integration of f of x dx now let me help you to find this integrating factor with the help of an example look at here here the question is to find solution to a differential equation 2x log x minus xy dy plus 
2y dx is equal to 0. First of all, we will check whether this differential equation is exact or not. For that, we will compare this differential equation with m dx plus n dy is equal to 0. We see m is 2y and n is 2x log x minus xy. Now let's find out daba m by daba y. Clearly it is just 2. Now daba n by daba x will be obtained using u into v rule of derivative. So it is 2 log x plus 2 minus y. Clearly daba m by daba y is not equal to daba n by daba x. Therefore given differential equation is not exact. Now let us find what is daba m by daba y minus daba n by daba x upon n. Substituting values of these derivatives over here and value of n over here, we see it is equal to 2 minus daba m by 2 daba y is 2. So it is 2 minus daba n by daba x is 2 log x minus 2 plus y whole divided by n is 2x log x minus xy. Now this 2 and 2 will get cancelled. In the numerator we will be left with minus 2 log x plus y. From the denominator term we can take out x common. Now we see this 2 log x minus y will get cancelled with this 2 log x minus y. So in the numerator we will be left with minus 1 and in denominator we will have x. So we see value of this expression is a function of x alone we say it is f of x. Now using this f of x, we can find out corresponding integrating factor. So here integrating factor will be given by e raised to integration of f of x dx. That is e raised to integration of minus 1 by x dx. Integration of 1 by x is log x along with this minus sign, it will be e raised to minus log x. Using property of log we can say a log b is log b raised to a so here it will be log of x raised to minus 1 since this log is with base e e raised to log of x raised to minus 1 will be equal to x raised to minus 1 which is 1 by x so the corresponding integrating factor is 1 by x now we multiply the given differential equation with this integrating factor so after multiplying this differential equation with this integrating factor, we will get 2 log x minus y dy plus 2y by x into dx is equal to 0. Now this is our new differential equation or modified differential equation which is exact in nature. Now we will compare this differential equation with m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 we get our new m as 2y by x and new n as 2 log x minus y. Now using the formula for solution to exact differential equation, we can obtain solution to this differential equation. It is integration of m dx treating y constant plus integration of terms in n free from x into dy is equal to c. m is 2y by x and I see there is only one term in n which is free from x which is minus y here. So it is this. Since y is constant here, we will take out this 2y. Inside the integral sign we have only 1 by x. Integration of 1 by x is log x. So we will have 2y log x plus integration of minus y is minus y square by 2 is equal to integration constant c. This is solution to the given differential equation. Now let me show you one more example of the same. Here the given differential equation is x raised to 4 plus y raised to 4 dx minus xy cube dy is equal to 0. First of all we will check whether this differential equation is exact or not. So we compare it with m dx plus n dy is equal to 0. We get m is equal to x raised to 4 plus y raised to 4 and n is minus xy cube. 
Now we calculate daba m by daba y. Clearly daba m by daba y is 4y cube and daba n by daba x will be minus y cube. So it is easy to say that daba m by daba y is not equal to daba n by daba x. So we conclude that the given differential equation is not exact differential equation. Now we calculate value of daba m by daba y minus daba n by daba x upon n. Daba m by daba y is 4y cube. Daba n by daba x is minus y cube. Substituting their values over here, we get 4y cube plus y cube divided by minus xy cube. So it is 5y cube upon minus xy cube. This y cube, y cube gets cancelled. We get value of this expression as minus 5 by x. Clearly, this is function of x alone. So we say this is f of x. Now we are ready to find out integrating factor. Formula to find integrating factor is e raised to integration of f of x dx. It is in this case e raised to integration of minus 5 by x dx. This integration returns us minus 5 log x which is same as e raised to log x raised to minus 5 which is same as x raised to minus 5 that is 1 by x raised to 5. So the required integrating factor in this particular example is 1 upon x raised to 5. Now we transform this non-exact differential equation to exact differential equation by multiplying it with this integrating factor. So let's multiply this differential equation with this integrating factor. We get a new differential equation like this. Carry forwarding this differential equation on my next slide. Now we compare this differential equation with m dx plus n dy is equal to 0. We get our new m and n. Clearly this expression is m, this expression is n. Simplifying this n expression, we get minus y cube upon x raised to 4. Now we use formula to find solution to exact differential equation which is integration of m dx treating y constant plus integration of terms in n free from x dy is equal to c. Substituting m here and I see there is no term in n which is free from x. So we substitute 0 here, we get this. x raised to 4 upon x raised to 5 is 1 by x and we will have plus y raised to 4 upon x raised to 5. 1 by x integration is log x. y raised to 4 is constant. It will remain as it is. 1 by x raised to 5 integration is minus 1 by 4 x raised to 4 is equal to integration constant c. This is solution to the given differential equation. Now I have couple of more examples of the same. This is example number 3. You can pause the video and write the solution for this. Similarly, there is example number 4 here. You have to do it yourself. You can pause the video and note down this question. I hope guys you understood how to solve a rendered exact differential equation with the help of integrating factor. In this video, we saw only rule 1 of finding integrating factor. In my upcoming videos, you will see remaining three rules for finding integrating factor. With this note, I thank all of you. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel for more such engineering mathematics videos. Please press the bell icon to have updated information about my videos.